So here I am on the Brooklyn Bridge and it's a perfect opportunity to talk to you about golden hour. Now this is the magical time of day, whether it's sunrise or sunset, to get photos that are gonna stand out from all the others. So why do I shoot in golden hour anyway? Why am I here right now, such an ungodly hour in the morning to get a photograph? Well, there is actually a very good reason. Now, first of all, the color. The color is amazing. We call it golden hour because we get golden light. One of the other big reasons why I shoot in gold hour is the angle of light. It gives us really interesting light patterns. Another good reason is because there's fewer people. Now, if you're shooting sunset, that might not be the case. But one of the reasons why I'm up here so early in the morning for sunrise is because there's fewer and fewer people. Now, lastly, a really good and important reason to shoot at either sunrise or sunset during the golden hour is because the light is a lot less dynamic. It's a lot less harsh. So we get this soft, beautiful light where we don't have to worry about these harsh, contrasty shadows. So now that we cover those basic reasons why I am up at sunrise, let's actually take some photographs. So I'm at my first location here, and one of the reasons why I'm standing a little further back because sometimes you get the best angle about whatever you're photographing when you're far enough back that you can put it in the context. So if I wanna capture this skyline, I wanna capture the entirety of this magnificent scene in front of me, what do I wanna do? I wanna open up my phone and you get to see this view right here all the way from the left to the right. And look at that. I mean, that's amazing. Look at the light on these buildings right now. That's exactly what we wanna capture. And a single photograph in this instance isn't going to work, at least not in the traditional sense. So I know immediately what I wanna do is switch to my panel mode on the bottom. I'm gonna start on the left here, and I'm simply going to rotate my elbows, make sure I keep the horizon steady, and go a little bit further than what I think I need. And anytime I shoot a pano, I'm always gonna shoot more than one just in case something doesn't go right here. So I'm gonna do this one more time just to make sure that I got the shot. Start on the left and work my way over. Now I'm going a little bit slower than I typically do because it's still a little bit darker. There. Okay, now we have all of our bases covered. We got this amazing panoramic image, captures the entirety of the skyline on the bridge. Let's keep on moving. So I walked not even maybe 20 yards up this bridge here, and it's a completely different scene. Now I notice that there's cables. These cable stays are everywhere, which are now in my photograph. Now typically this is something that I might want to remove, but in this case, especially on the Brooklyn Bridge, it's an important compositional element to include as well. Now I'm noticing a couple of things here. When I open up my phone, this is way more interesting than this. So what I wanna do is fill my frame with the most interesting element and the most interesting part of the skyline. If I shoot vertical the way I am now, you'll notice I can't quite get everything in here the way I want to. So all I need to do is switch over to horizontal and take a look at that. Now that's looking incredible, but you're gonna realize just like I do, it's only the top half of the frame that's actually relatively interesting. The bottom part, not so much. Now I don't wanna tilt this up because look what happens when I do. Everything starts to get crooked. So here's what I want to do. I want to lift my arms up as much as I can, fill the frame with that shot there. I'm still shooting raw. And see if I can get that top cable stay right into the corner and grab that photo. I think that's going to look incredible. All I need to do at that point is open up that last shot, click on edit, click on that crop icon and simply drag from the bottom up. And now I have an almost panoramic image that beautifully showcases that amazing skyline on the left-hand side, and that's complemented or even balanced by the arch here of the Brooklyn Bridge. So the next photo I wanna get, I just see the, the hint of light starting to hit the top of these arches at the Brooklyn Bridge here. And there's a flag right at the top. Now I wish it was a windy day and we had some motion to that flag. We don't, we don't have clouds either, but we, we work with what we get, and it's still gonna be a beautiful photograph. So I want to go immediately to my 2x and then my 3x. 
What that's gonna do is fill the frame with the entirety of these arches. And literally as I'm pointing my camera to this, I can literally see the light move across the span of these arches and just illuminate the very top with this gorgeous golden glow. This is exactly what I'm talking about. We only get this during the golden hour. That's exactly why we're here so early in the morning. Now there's people coming in and out of the frame, but right now it's actually not that bad of a scene. I, yes, I see that garbage can. And in this case, we actually can crop it out just by going slightly above that there. So it's below the bottom of the frame and that's it. Now we have a beautiful shot. I love the shadows being cast by the low angle light of the rising sun. And I think if we get just a little bit closer here, we might be able to fill the frame with that shadow play and get a really unique and interesting photo. So I walked just a little bit further up here and I saw this beautiful shadow play here. I think it's gonna make a great photographic opportunity. It's really that middle half, like that band right in the middle there, that's where all the interest is. So all I'm gonna do is pinch the zoom a little bit. And right about there, I'm gonna try and cut off the frame, cut off that sky and focus right there. Now I'm noticing that lamp on the bottom left-hand corner of the frame. I'm not digging that. I think it's a little bit of a distraction. So I'm just gonna pinch the zoom a little bit more. So the symmetry here is really what caught my eye as well as that low angle light and the shadows, all those come together for just an absolutely stunning photo. What I'm noticing now is while before we were looking at the shadow cast by the low angle light, now I'm looking at the light itself on these cables and it's catching at just the right place. It's giving me this really interesting lighting, the side lighting on the cables. Now where I'm standing is important too. I'll make sure to stand literally right in the middle of the span here. And then what I get a chance to do is play with the symmetry. And it's that symmetry, the low angle light, and the beautiful patterns that's being created by these cables are all gonna make for what I think a really interesting photograph. So I'm gonna line up this photo here. I'm in my 1X view. It's a great place to start. I have the Freedom Tower off on the left-hand side. I wanna make sure I don't cut that out. Also, this span right now is not necessarily the most prominent thing in my photograph, it's these cables. So what I wanna do is just tilt up a little bit. And the more I do, the more I'm giving a little bit more visual weight to the cables and the patterns that's created by these cables as well. So I love this shot. I'm gonna take this image here. And again, the symmetry is what makes this so important, but let's play around with that a little bit. I'm gonna switch over to my 0.5. So that 0.5, what it's doing is bringing in an extra wide angle, an extra large field of view, and expanding these cables and really making the patterns that's being created almost crazy and dramatic, a beautiful compositional element all by itself. All right, we got that shot. The light's starting to develop even more. Let's keep on moving. We came across the other side of the span now and I got a completely different pattern of light and I think it's gonna be really interesting. All right, so we're gonna get this photo here. We're at our 1X view. I'm still in raw mode. And now I'm gonna wait for a couple of these people here to move out of the frame. And while I'm doing that, I'm, I'm gonna switch over to my 0.5. I really like that 0.5 because it's still playing with that, the interesting patterns of these cables here. Make sure I'm right dead center. I have that flare. I'll wait for this last jogger. In fact, I don't mind it. I'm gonna shoot while he's doing his thing here. And then this shot right here, that's all I needed. Right before those people came into the frame, we have that one shot, we got the flare, we got the vertical composition, we have these patterns of these cables. All of it lines up for a beautiful image. Golden hour, that's what this is all about. You just saw how to get amazing photographs on one of the most popular tourist attractions in all of New York City. And there's very, very few people here. Amazing light, beautiful golden, warm tones, that low angle light, all of those things add up to allow us to create amazing images. And that only happens at golden hour.